Introduction Students, how long is your scale? 15 centimeters, ma'am. Good, Priya. Hmm, what is your weight, Roshan? Oh, it's 25 kilogram, ma'am. Okay. How much water your bottle contains, Sneha? About 1 liter, ma'am. Students, in our daily life, we often use different units to measure quantities like distance, mass and capacity. Come on, let us learn about these units in the lesson measurement. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Know the units used to measure quantities such as distance, mass and capacity. Tell the standard units of distance, mass and capacity. Express the quantities into different units. Add, subtract and multiply the different quantities. Convert rupees into paise and vice versa. Length, breadth, height are the words used to express some distance. The distance between New Delhi and Chandigarh is 250 kilometers. Many students participated in 400 meters race. The length of rectangle ABCD is 5 centimeters. The length of the eraser is 14 millimeters. We find that kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter are the units used for measuring distances. Among these, kilometer is the biggest unit used for measuring long distances, while millimeter is the smallest unit used for measuring very small lengths. The standard unit of distance is meters. Friends, let us now learn how to express distances given in one unit in other units. To measure distances smaller than a kilometer, one kilometer is divided into 1000 equal parts and each part is regarded as a unit. This is called a meter. We can say that one kilometer equals to 1000 meters. In the similar way, one meter is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is regarded as a unit which is centimeter. Thus, one meter equals 100 centimeters. How will you convert length of a box given in centimeters into millimeter? When one centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts, then each of these parts is called a millimeter. This means 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. You might have gone along with your mother for buying vegetables. You must have heard your mother asking for 1 kilogram cabbage, 5 kilogram potatoes, 100 grams green chili, etc. to the vegetable seller. Kilograms and grams are the two units used for measuring mass of substances among which kilogram is the standard unit of mass. If one kilogram is divided into 1000 parts, then one part is called a gram. This means one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. How much milk comes in your home daily? One liter, two liters or more? The capacity of liquids like water, milk, juice, etc. is measured in terms of liters or milliliters. The standard unit of capacity is the liter. The part obtained by dividing 1 liter into 1000 equal parts is called a milliliter. This means that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. We have learned the different units used for measuring distance, mass and capacity.
Let us now learn how to add, subtract and multiply the quantities in different units. One day Ryan went to zoo with his uncle. They covered first 10 kilometers and 598 meters very fast. But they took much time in covering next 8 kilometers and 633 meters. How much distance did they travel in total? The total distance covered by Ryan and his uncle can be calculated by adding both the distances. First, make two columns. In first column, write kilometers, that is km, and in second column, write m, that is meter. Write 10 under kilometers and 598 under meters. Below 10, write 8, and below 598, write 633. Now add it. The sum of 598 meters and 633 meters is 1231 meters which is equal to 1 kilometer and 231 meters. Thus, 1 kilometer is added to 18 kilometers. In total, they have covered a distance of 19 kilometers and 231 meters. Similarly, we can add the quantities given in different units. Let us look at another example. One truck has a load of 538 kilograms and 177 grams of grain and another has a load of 219 kilograms and 538 grams of grain. How much extra load is there in the first truck? We can find the extra load in the first truck by subtracting second quantity from the first. Following the same way, as used in case of addition. Since 538 grams cannot be subtracted from 177 grams, so 1 kilogram is borrowed from 538 kilograms. It is converted into grams and added to 177 grams to get 1177 grams. Subtracting 538 grams from 1177 grams while subtracting 219 kilograms from 537 kilograms 318 kilograms is obtained thus 318 kilograms and 639 extra grams load is there in the first truck Raju's family has a consumption of 2 litres and 500 millilitres of milk per day. How much milk is consumed by this family in 14 days? Multiplying 14 with 2 litres and 500 millilitres, we get 28 litres and 7000 litres. Since 1000 millilitres equals to 1 litre, therefore 7000 millilitres equals 7 litres. These 7 litres is added to 28 litres. Thus, in 14 days, Raj's family consumes 35 litres of milk. Rahul purchased 1 toffee for 1 rupee. How will you convert this rupee into paise? 100 paise makes 1 rupee. Thus, 150 paise equals to 150 upon 100 rupees. This makes 1.50 rupees. Thus, when we convert paise to rupees, we divide it by 100. How will you convert 1.75 rupees into paise? Multiplying 1.75 with 100, we get 175 paise. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Kilometer, meter, Centimeter, millimeter are the units used for measuring distances. Among these, meter is the standard unit of distance. Kilograms and grams are the two units used for measuring mass of substances. 
among which kilogram is the standard unit of mass. The capacity of liquids like water, milk, juice, etc. is measured in terms of liters or milliliters. Liter is the standard unit of capacity.